So I wanted to make a quick video uh, over my Forerunner here. So I have a 2016 SR5 Premium uh, Forerunner, and I've wanted to add Apple CarPlay to it since I got it. However, the only kit I've seen is like $600. And for that amount of money, you could just upgrade the whole head unit, which I didn't really want to do because then you lose a lot of the functionality that comes with the OEM and the integration as well with the rest of the vehicle systems. So I was looking around on Amazon and I just happened to come across this kit called ABC Car or something like that. I'll put a link to it for sure. Uh, but it says it'll add Apple CarPlay to several different Toyota models, and they have them for other models as well, other manufacturers. But it had Forerunner on there. So the issues I was running into was I didn't know for sure if my head unit, head unit was included because it said it would work for uh, the Panasonic but not the Pioneer. But whenever I looked at my faceplate number, which is this number here, save it all, show here, 510139. Whenever I'd look it up via that faceplate number, it was saying I had a Panasonic and a Pioneer based on pictures. Like, I had both logos, because Pioneer is owned by Panasonic, as far as I'm concerned, or as far as I know. So anyway, I, I went ahead and did it. It was on Prime, so it's returnable, and it works really well, honestly. It was 200 bucks. I don't know if I've said that yet. It was $200. So I, went, I figured I'd, I'd try it, see if it worked, and so far, I mean, I literally just finished installing it, but it does work, and it seems to work fairly well. So... Um, I wanted to make this video just because I hadn't seen anything on, on Forerunner forums or Facebook groups or anything like that about it. So anyway, let me start it up. Okay, so I think you can go into um, aux and wait and it might turn on. Like I said, I just finished installing it, but for sure if you just hold down the voice button for a while, It'll go well, I cut the video whenever I started it up, but there it is working. Um, I'm not going to go in into anything because if I click into anything, it cuts the video off. But um, the installation was super easy. If, if anyone's interested in, in how to install it, um, you can comment and maybe, maybe I'll make a video talking about it. Um, these head units are super easy to come out. Uh, it's like six bolts. There's... Uh, two for the AC, no, sorry, two for the, uh, for this little panel down here with the USB and the aux. This is just press fit, press fit, press fit, and then four bolts, 10 millimeters for the actual head unit, and I'll just pop right out. Uh, it comes with pretty crappy instructions, but it's pretty simple. There's a, a harness, the harness plugs into the unit, and then the harness has a male and female end plug. The male end goes into the head unit and then the female ends of the plug the oem wiring that's behind the dash plugs into that if that makes any sense so it kind of is a uh, the harness is an intermediary between the car's wiring and the head unit and then that's being picked up by the box that has the uh, car plate built into it and it's completely wireless and it seems to be working really well um, anyway if you have that um face plate id 510139 on your forerunner then it will work it will work just fine um let me know if you guys have any questions and i'll try to answer them bye